This is MEC 23B and we're going to measure the connecting rods now. So the first thing we want to measure is the connecting rod journals. The connecting rod journals similar to the main bearing journals but the jur connecting rod journals are where the connecting rods attach. So in this picture we have one, two, three, four. So this is a four cylinder engine and your connecting rods come down and uh, measure and connect there. And so we want diameter one and diameter two. So these are connected, so you're going to measure from one side to the other. Once again, just like the main bearings, you're going to measure this way, and you're going to measure that way. And you're going to measure taper also, so you're putting your micrometer over top, and you're sliding your micrometer back and forth this way to see if it gets loose and tight. Once again, you'll have a number here, and a number here, and this is a yes or no check or an X. So the next one we want to look at is connecting rod bores. Now the connecting rod itself is this piece comes down here and goes all the way around. That connecting rod bore is where the connecting rod attaches to the connecting rod journal. And so that's this space in here. So we want to measure two different places, the diameter one and diameter two. Let's do it in an X. We don't want to go across this way because then it falls down inside of um, the joint where the connecting rod cap fits on. Before we do measure across like that, we need to make sure that we attach the connecting rod cap to the connecting rod and we need to torque it to specs. Very important that we torque it to specs. The last one we have here is a connecting rod clearance. And the first one is the calculated clearance. So you'll take your smallest rod journal diameter and your largest rod bore diameter, subtract the two, and you write it in there. And we'll learn about a plastic gauge in another video.